So yeah, I just wanted to do that to fuck with you. And be like, is this gonna work? Or like, what is gonna happen? Or like, what the fuck? It's just dead air. What, like, what's going on? <laughs> Got me. I mean, I'm, I'm running out of ways to be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> but it's like, fuck it. So we're back for another one, and I don't even know what the fuck we're gonna talk about tonight. But Saturday, and again, instead of being out with all the fucking chuckleheads or. I like clerks. The fucking mouth breathers. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with the fucking mouth breathers all day. That fucked with my head though because I thought about it and it's like, my mouth breathing. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know if you folks can hear that. I'm experimenting with my <coughs> breathing. Like, am I the guy that sits and watches TV with my jaw wide open like? <sighs> <sighs> but I'm not, so I'm good. <laughs> it's all good. I anyway. Mean, I've been rapping for a while. So, it's a good day. It's been a weird day. I had to do some bullshit last night with dog sitting. It was fun. But, uh, we got the hard copy of our uh, article today. The one that Brad wrote about me in the school newspaper. Uh, it's pretty cool reading it. I think this comes out this week. Yeah, supposed to. Well, no, I think she said it. Ben went to print or whatever. Oh, went yeah, to print. So, so, it comes out. But, like... Is it already, like, so it's already at the school? They're pretty quick on it. Yeah, I think she was saying it's okay to go ahead and put it on, like, I put it on Facebook because it has gone to print. Yeah. Okay. That's I cool. think you can get them at the, probably Monday you'll be able to get them at the school. Yeah. We're getting some hard spikes, by the way. Yeah, I see, I can visibly see one on the screen itself. Yeah, whatever. But, anyway. Nah. Man, you know, I, like, you know, it's fucking, right it's fucking anyway, great, so. though. Testament to my fucking family. I hand the article to my mom. So I'm like, what do you think? She's like, fucking shrugs at me. It's like, oh, thanks for the encouragement. Right. I mean, I mean it's not like she was mean, but it's right. like, yeah, you, know, you could say something, motherfucker. Yeah, because it, it's like half mine, half yours. Because, you, know, you know, you wrote half, I wrote half. Yeah. You know what I mean? We put some work in on that. Yeah. No, I, I get that. You know, you put your time into something, and then, you know, you, I'd rather hear somebody say, "Yeah, that fucking sucks." Yeah, that's what I mean. I would rather. I could be like, "Well, why? Tell me what you don't yeah, like." Exactly. About it. But if it's just like, "Meh," you know, you're like, "You're like Whoa, really nothing, nothing, nothing." You know, I've submitted papers that have taken a while to get graded or whatever, and the same thing happens in school. You know, you write a great philosophy paper. Uh, yeah, how long? You think did... you've like landed on genius moon or whatever? And, how long did it and take? And then you know, you finally get that grade. You're like, "Fuck yeah, buddy!" No, 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 no. How long did it take Cross to grade our first English paper? Oh, Jesus was it like Christ. two months? Purgatory. It was like fucking hell. I was like... Yeah, and she made it out like we were writing the Bible for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, it was about like <laughs> teenage pregnancy. Yeah. Listen, there are bad teachers out there, people. We had to go there, buddies, ladies and gentlemen, I mean... I like that lady, but not a good teacher. She's high school level at best. Yeah, at best. If, at best, she's just that... I did exceedingly well in every other English class I was in. And that yeah. one... She would like refuse to give me beyond like a beyond like uh, B minus. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because she'd be like, "Yeah, I give you a chance." Yeah, but it's like, yeah. no, you just don't understand my thesis and what the fuck I'm trying to go for here. Well, I want to clarify a step further too. This isn't a hot pun intended slandering. Yeah. Well, I'm honestly gonna say like on her behalf or on my behalf as a student in my experience. She was very unorganized too. Like, remember, she would like. That's what I mean. Very old to, school. We had to hand out papers for her, and like, yeah. I'm not saying it's not cool to contribute to the classroom environment, or whatever. But it almost seemed like there was times where she, you know, remember, the numbered papers and shit, and then yeah. she'd hand around the stapler. We'd have to figure out pages one through six and put them in order for her. <laughs> We just we'd all be sitting half the class and was like I can't. No, you know what I remember? Fucking building the book here. What the yeah, fuck? You is know what I remember from that class? It was such half the shit. time, like half the room with like the side I sat on, she would fucking give instructions, and then they would turn around and look at me and be like, "What the fuck does she mean by that?" And I'd be like, mm -hmm. Are "You fuck." And no, you would you were there. I would get dirty looks from the teacher because yeah. I'm like, but I the entire time people I want this to be known. I was not trying to step on that lady's toes. Neither I never was. really went after her. We were just ever. trying to clarify for our fellow students. Yeah, because but there was for a lot real, of people, with question people marks were like, "How do I do this paper? Yeah. What what is the homework?" That I'm sorry. As nice as you are, Mrs. Cross, you'll never probably hear this yeah. anyway. But that is a sign that you're not doing your job. But at the same regard, to take the pressure off her shoulders a little bit, just to say this, there's something to be said for if you're good at writing or you write well, yeah. perhaps, 
and you're a fellow student and someone comes to you or needs help, like there's a real gratitude or good feeling about how I how to help people write. I haven't written papers for people, uh-huh. but helping people write papers is really fucking. Oh, people always get so feeling. fucking mad at me. But you got it. I I always give them a disclaimer. I'm like, you're gonna be working with a critical dickhead. Are you prepared for this? Have you put your safety gear on? Because if I read your paper and it's shit, I'm going to fucking rip into it and I'm going to rewrite the motherfucker. No, people hate me for the opposite reason. I give you something that seems like abstract fortune cookie shit. Because all I'm trying to tell you is I'll see what point you're trying to make. I'll be like, so that's what you're trying to do. And you're like, yes. I'll be like, well, you need to sound more like you here, add a little depth of explanation in that paragraph. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you, like, grammatical how to write it, da 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 Right. I'm going to go, no, just try that. And you know what you do yeah. by doing that? Yeah. You're encouraging them to fucking exercise their creative skill and express themselves. No, similarly. Instead of imposing your creative skill, they're not learning right. theirs. They're fucking copying you. Right. Similarly, you know what I mean? when younger musicians come up to me and say, how do we do this, or how should we do that, or what should I do? Your advice is similar to the same I'd give a young musician or anybody like that. Like, it's more of an encouraging, like, just continue to do it yeah and do it with the voices in your head and let there be voices in your head i'd say to them if i was talking to another writer that is i'd say follow those characters let there be cartoony characters i wouldn't know Seriously. anything about voices i don't no. know oh bullshit not <laughs> when i write i'm saying when you're when you're hearing the tone of how you write something like you said you I don't try know. to show somebody that things can have tones you know i don't know Maybe no, I when I write, I feel like I'm trying to keep up with what's just flying out. I don't, I don't have time to like. I have to like crank out a paragraph really yeah. fast because that's like I'm like, like tackling it down, right. and then I have to go back and read that paragraph and like, what the fuck did I just write? Yeah. I really have to do that because it's, it'll come to me in fragments. You know right. what I mean? Just like bam, here's like here's page well, one done. Yeah, and you're like, and yeah. honestly, yeah. it's been like 15 minutes. Yeah, and I'm like, you. what the fuck? Now, I know I could put more effort in and rewrite it a few times, but like when I rewrite, it's like I just rewrite, and it's because oh, I write shit. like that, so I'm not really honing what the fuck I just wrote. I'm just rephrasing it. Well, if you're so, anything like me, you rewrite while you write. Do you yes, do that? I'm yeah. always. I I'm not one of those. I mean, I like you said, I'll have my moments of clarity. clean it up. Yeah. Right, I'll have my moments of clarity where our, an entire paragraph or three will just zoom out of me, like you said, mm-hmm. and it'll be fluent, it'll be good, it'll be like. I feel like I'm being possessed by somebody else almost. Like, the, the, yeah. you know, you've said it. You put your fingers on the keys, and the next thing you know, and people are like, how do Five you do Five pages that? later, you're like, what the people fuck just happened? People want answers like, how do you do that? And you're like, I don't know. I just fucking, I typed it. You know, that's what I did. <laughs> but anyway, you know, but but what I'm saying is while you're doing that process, there's always that reread, reread, reread while you're writing. And, and, it, and, it, and if you continue to keep up with that, a lot of the... Now, some students might need to hear, you need to brainstorm, you need to do this you need to follow these certain set of scales to get a proper paper maybe that's maybe that's what some people need maybe there's just some of us who can step to a oh i have keyboard cons- and let it rip and and with a little bit of subtlety we can edit it down to something coherent i don't know maybe it's not natural for everybody you know? no i have consistently throughout my scholastic career in english class has gotten in trouble because the process of writing a paper and I just yeah. used air quotes. Yes. I know this is audio, and it's pointless to do that. Well, and it's like I'm talking right. to Brad, but <laughs> but I, I you're supposed to like do an outline, then like brainstorm. No, you're supposed to like brainstorm, then outline, yeah. then write a rough draft, yeah. then rewrite that draft and bring it to class, then write another one. Yeah. How about I just get in front of a keyboard, write it, and if I'm motivated because I like the class, I'll rewrite it as I <laughs> write it. Yeah. And if I'm not. You're yeah. getting the first fucking copy that comes out, and I'll just check for grammatical errors. Yeah. And I guarantee you, either way, the difference for me is, it's it'll range from B minus B to A, a whatever. Plus. You know That's what I mean? I was gonna say, B so B I plus. just, yeah. it's just, like, I can give you it all day long. Yeah. But if you're gonna start docking me for points because I don't have an outline, but my essay is completely adequate and it's good and it's probably better than three quarters of the people in the yeah. class. But you limited me with a shit topic, so yeah. you, like you know what I mean, yeah. I reserve the right as a student sometimes to look at the teacher. Like you gave me something so uninteresting yeah. that like I had to will that out of me. You know what I mean? You can't really be like you got to go for it. Why? I find this topic irrelevant. Do you really right. want to go it's, philosophical it's with me? It's my same issue with mathematics. I don't have a problem with the with the. Uh, 
fundamentals of math. Um, but I compare it to like you know, there's students in that class that I'm in right now that this this stuff just comes so natural to them. Mathematics is just like a nothing, you know. It's yeah. just whip it out. And so I think of that as like just because I write and it comes easy. You it's write, purely it comes personality. Easy. It's a personality thing. But I see people in like the writing center at the Elmira Center, and they're literally struggling to write a paper. And I don't see for guys like us. That's like if a mathematician type would see me struggling over math, they'd be like, "How?" What I see not is a bunch it, of people you know? doing that, and then the people helping them are giving them the wrong fucking advice. That's. I have heard. A lot no of offense. It. I know. I'm not saying this semester. I've heard good things about the writing center lately. But when we first started school, there was people that would go there. Yeah. And get worse grades on their papers. Because they followed writing center advice. Yeah. I watch people lose full letter grades down to C's and shit. I'm not making that up. That's not hearsay. That's me directly witnessing it. Now, it's gotten better for certain That's people because different news. people work every semester. And I think anyway, but it changes up part, a lot. Yeah. yeah. I've been offered to work, but I'm but telling I've you, turned it down. I would get a wide variety of opinion if you're really struggling that hard. Or if there's somebody in your class that's good and they're not a douchebag, which, let's be honest, is rare. Then, you know I mean, they may help you. you know I mean, like me yeah. and you in that English class helped a lot of people structure their papers. That's what I want to make a point about is I think when it comes to the word help in general, like that's what the writing center is for. And it has come a long way, like you said. But it's I'm dictation. Very, but it's just like a lot of things in my life. If I'm going to do a favor for somebody, if I'm going to help somebody, it's more rewarding to me if I happen to just kind of like that person a little bit or think they're interesting at least. Mm -hmm. on some base level where uh, you know being offered a position at the writing center is nice a little extra scratch in the pocket or whatever but I, for me I like working with people who I really feel like they do want to write a great paper I'd rather work with then I think for me I find a little bit of misery being shackled to that place a certain number of hours a week uh -huh. helping people that really have don't have even a, a writing skill at all like, no listen I just couldn't do it I'm just saying it's like just that I had to class learn, you know. specifically offered me one of those stark moments in life where I went from being a guy on the grind, working and doing shit stuff, and mm -hmm. like just being a like people are gonna be like that's a bum, all the guy just works there or whatever, to being in a, like this English class back in college and true or not, you, Brad can attest this. There was a time where people turned around like, no, Cody's reading my paper, no, Cody's reading my paper, yeah, because you could only do it with one person. And yep. I swear to God, just sat there and went, really? Like, I, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it like hit me like, why the, f what? Yeah. You're giving me credit? Yeah. Well, oh, things are fucking bad if I'm the go-to. Because, dude, like, I'm like give that Doug Stanhope. Credit, though, dude. I'm like that Doug Stanhope mentality, though. I'm, I don't think I'm that fucking smart. Well, that's why you know you're mean? so fucking smart. That's the first, that's what people don't necessarily understand about that whole fine line between understanding things but also realizing you're a complete fucking retard when it comes to most things. Now, I'm not really being rude to anybody. I, this is me talking about myself. I would like to believe I'm fairly intelligent, but at the same time, I'm smart enough to know I'm probably a fucking dumbass. You that's what, what I. That's how that's I view it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm and saying. And so, therefore, you know... I believe I can meet somebody educated that can probably shit all over all of my views, and they would probably be more well-rooted in information than me. But I also know it's a game, and nobody really knows anything, and that's the point. Yeah, you're it's like I don't consider it smart. Smart's such a relative fucking thing to say. I, I don't know engineer or fucking do working for NASA or some shit. Like I'm just, yeah, a guy that likes to talk and hang the fuck out. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not yeah. out there fucking on the cutting edge, changing the world. Not that's, like that. Exactly. I think the reason we that's got another this level to me. Yeah, because you know it's it's. I think you find once you get to more of a college level of academia. As far as like intelligence, intelligence goes, is, I consider is, myself like the middle class of intelligence. But what you just said, like really kind of good, but not to, like the best. No, that you know, it, it's more of an. It really is a relative thing. You could be very intelligent in mathematics, but have no I, way to socially interact because you, you to, suck at. But I, it. yeah, but I could ask you to just simply write a three-page paragraph um, about your summer. And it could be one of the most boring, dry, horrific reads in the world. 
But you could be the greatest mathematician. That doesn't mean you're any smarter or dumber or different. It's just you're no, smart or directed. It's you know. just a thing you're proficient exactly. in. Exactly. And like you said, I think it comes down to the <laughs> joy of it. I was like talking. If you I like was, it, you're better at it, you know? I was talking to somebody recently, and I sent them a message, and um, they were asking me, um, like, what my philosophical theories were, like, to elaborate, because I kind of just dropped it, and, like, mm -hmm. like they were talking to me, like, what are you going to do? And I, I said... Uh, I look at stuff like everything's a filter, it's subjective, da 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 da, and it's exploited for sociological control. Then they wanted me to expound upon that, so I went even further. I was like, I myself, Brad will tell you, lean towards the arts, expression, visual, like real, like, um, experiency, or like, I don't know, woo woo shit. Mm -hmm. But I broke down the analogy like this it's like everybody has a baseline operating system that we have in common. But it's not Windows or Mac. It's like a Linux thing, like, and we're all coders. And some of us are proficient in certain things, and some of us have no ability at all. But that's the one thing that ties us all together is mm -hmm. we all start with that, like, fundamental thing unless, you, unless you're really, like, brain damaged or something right. coming out, right. of course. But, uh, and then, you know what I mean? That's what it is, and it's all, it all becomes relative because you all mm -hmm. play your part in your way because, because of the mathematical expression of, like, you had to exist to counterbalance this thing and this thing because they had to exist to counterbalance you and it's like this yeah. weird fucking cohesive point, yeah. it, it yeah. is like a computer program and I said every real big leap forward technology wise or what really in, like changed us has always mimicked some pattern in the universe so the real mechanical shit like the way an internet the internet system communicates is similar to like how a network of mushrooms will communicate when they're together because they have like an interwoven right, kind of right, fucking way yeah. to communicate yep. and it's instantaneous so it's fucking weird people and then you look into shit like solar energy and the most efficient way is that Fibonacci sequence it's mathematical mm -hmm. and that's the most efficient way to gather sunlight so there's a lot to be said for that there's a lot of connections to be power made power in numbers yeah, right? and power and good numbers. I don't, I don't separate the science and technology from the natural and the, the cosmic. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just an extension. We're mimicking it in our own way. It's, it's complexity for the sake of complexity in a way, even though we're rudimentary. Mm -hmm. But because of our certain dynamic, we will exist to create something else, which will exist to counterbalance us. Yeah. So it will fundamentally be different from us. I think that's why ethics and morals come naturally after yes. that whole philosophy of life. I think that once you've gotten at least your, even if you've only gotten your toes wet in philosophy of life, I think the next step is ethics and morals. I, my biggest and, point in that and, class and, and was and always, really I was banging to, on the technology drum, like, we really have to fucking incorporate this into our like narrative and our dialogue and mm -hmm. what the fuck's up because it completely changes the rules to all this bullshit mm -hmm. you're still arguing about. Yeah. We've proven certain yeah. things and it's it's yeah. time to go, uh oh, flip the board, we gotta start over. Or you know, it's not just got shake it up and start drawing again. You know, get your eraser. Why that's why you use pencil and math class. Yeah. Well I think <laughs> mistakes that, will be made. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why a lot of our uh, greatest renowned, most adored uh, thinkers are uh, are you know a lot of the backstory to their lives is batshit fucking crazy, man. Like, and I think what happens to a certain thinking primate All great thinkers say the educational is, system fails it, you, by the way. You, I hope you know that. You almost get flipped to the other side, and then you're a loony. And it's like, wait, how did I almost become super genius and then get flipped to loony? That's you not fair. You can't be a, a genius you know? without a touch of madness. Right. I think that's what I'm getting at, yeah. And it's, and it's really, you know... Because new stuff seems foreign and, and yeah. incompatible. It's hard to digest at first. And when you're the first person in the new category Why? waving yep. the freak flag, uh -huh. you are going to die the martyr. Why? You had to. Somebody had to break ground on that construction site. And, and it might as well have been you. Yep. It was like the pyramids. They took how many people and generations? Kind of mm -hmm. the same thing. Well, I look at Slander Podcast is on the shoulders of giants like, uh, you know, um, well, I mean, the metaphor of Fight Club, let's say, or, you know, the genius of, um, oh, yeah. of what Joe Rogan's out there working and spreading and, 
Um, you know, the list goes on and on. The zeitgeist dude there. Yeah. I mean, there is finally a voice a part of this for all voice. this chaos we're being flooded with. There's yeah. finally room for voice for everybody to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the fuck up. Chill out. You know what I mean? Like, slow down. Start from the beginning. It's, it's, it's like handling a little kid that's freaking out. You gotta just be like, stop. Take a fucking breath. Slowly explain it. We can hit it point by point, and we can probably figure this shit out. It's not that hard. As a human species versus some ethnocentric, uh, arbitrary lines it, it, on the it's the metaphor bullshit. of us as a whole are only a certain age old. Like we're in our twenties, we would be. Yep. You know, we're I like. I kind of like that. Yeah. I heard that, and I was like, that makes a lot of fucking sense to me. Yep. And, you know, all, everything I think could be bullshit, too, and we've already stated that a million fucking times. But it's fun to keep going. And, you know, I, it, it always gets frowned upon to talk existentially like that because it's pointless and da 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 and you can get stuck in it. So, yeah, your point, I can die driving a car, but I gotta fucking do it. Why? It's necessary to my existence. So, I don't know fundamental questions about what's actually happening to you, what you're living, doing, the very nature of it is probably something you should fucking look into. Yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> I'm not studying philosophy and psychology <coughs> in college because I want to be a pretentious douchebag. Or get a or good being, jab. Or, or being or a part of this be, podcast yeah. or being a part of fucking whatever. Doing it whatever. for the sake of doing it. The point is, uh, yeah, I'm doing it because I'm a man who cannot stop uh, insatiable and curiosity and will be the death of me, and, without a doubt. And especially when it comes to the manners of social aspects of how we all behave and otherwise, you know, it's just sometimes you can just make a man go, "What the fuck am I supposed to be doing here?" You know what I mean? And uh, and that's where guys like Cody and I, I think come into play, where we're on a hunt with school and art projects and music projects because we're we're maddened and we lucked out by going like, to school we found a common ground to like meet each awesome other moment in time we yeah. have agreed on that yeah i wouldn't get it for the world i love that we're on the cusp of so much fucking awesomeness and i, I oh I, i'll totally I, rip that the, from the, the joe rogan podcast stuff, we are in the most amazing time ever later. ever it's never been this good Apparently or this bad. Just got some signals That's today the point. It is both ways. It's never been this good or this bad. Well, everybody wants to harp on. It's never been this bad. It's also fucking right. sweet. Yeah. If we used it right. Yeah. We could have a lot. We could have a good fucking time, and shit wouldn't suck as hard if we just get our head out of our ass. Yeah, believe me, uh, folks. I'm I'm still just as cynical about today as I would be the Roaring Twenties or the 1800s or the. But whatever in time t- timeline, it's still like you said, it's it's the balance. Oh, thank God I was born now. If I was born in like the sixties or seventies, I'd fucking blow my brains out. Like if I could think how I do now, but then again, I don't know if I could reach this level. You go into all the realistic extenuating factors. I'm talking simply on the daydream notion. If I right now existed in like 1965, my current personality, I would fucking lose it because of how far away people still I, were I completely beg to differ I think Slander Podcast <coughs> is a complete fucking tell that you would have fit in perfectly at that time period because there was plenty to rally against and if you are I not know, one I would have saw if through you're the not activism, one to though. see the fuckiness going on and jump in where the action was all I'm trying to do is give some credit where credit's due Vietnam was a fucked up fucked up situation and all those kids could do was like try to revolt and rebel the best they could at that time period because they didn't have cell phones in their pockets and computers and laptops. I probably would have been around. They sat around and got high though and made some music and said, hey, let's not fucking be assholes because it's not cool to be an asshole and send your kid off to get murdered for no fucking reason. You know? Yeah, hey, hey, how many kids you killed today? Huh? Hey, 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 LBJ, how many kids did you kill today? Oh, I love that They were screaming one, yeah. that. Yep. But no, I don't know. I mean, like, maybe the only way I could live through it is if somehow I was around the age and I was a writer and was like friends with Hunter S. Thompson and that just did crazy drugs trip, and wrote man. about it when we both like would have capitalized off each other. Now, that's a pleasant daydream. Never happened. Self-serving as shit. But that's the little kid in me, people. Don't let that shit die. 
I have an imagination. Shit, it's even good Carlin, for man, for fuck's sakes, or, yeah. or Terrence McKenna, or any of these yeah. greats, I would have loved to be in their time period and and experience some of that real raw. Like we're not gonna fucking stand for this. Like Carlin was there, like this frustrated young man, and then as he progresses, I don't look older, at it for that reason. I look at it for I, fire, want, though, I would just what want. I'm saying, you know, I would just want a crack at a conversation with any one of them. Oh, absolutely. That's all I would ever want. No, I don't want, I don't want to be part of it. No, I want to just engage in, it would feel like a severe test of where I'm at. Mm. I I wish I could do that. And there's still people that are alive now that I still want to (laughs) meet. Trust me, people. (coughs) Excuse me. That would uh, Um, be amazing to have a conversation with. Don't get me wrong. Degrassi. Degrassi. De- DeGrasse. Neil DeGrasse Tyson. DeGrasse, thank you. Sorry. Neil I'm... DeGrasse Tyson. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Neil cool. DeGrasse Tyson. No, I would, no, he would be fucking awesome. I would love to meet him. He'd be that really gentleman. polite. Yeah, he's a super, seems like a very, very uh, super polite and, and intellectual. And that's something that's hard, rare to find because it seems to me that the smarter some people get, it, and I understand I would just be full of questions. It's, that uh, it's, it's hard to. It, it's it, it be, it's hard to uh, stay uh, stay polite and happy when you start to see things as they are, so to speak. Like I mean, I look at John Stewart. We, I give that guy a lot of credit for being able to get on that show with a smile on his face. I don't know where he's like at home with his wife and kids, but yeah, you know. And I re- I realize it's uh, satirical news, but he's, in the same regard, man, he's putting a smile he's on his face and delivering. Definitely a person some, I would like to meet. Yeah. Oh, did I tell you we went to New York and? Saw the Jones uh, Daily Show yeah. uh, a couple years back or whatever. Well, no, that. that's fucking weird. awesome though. Yeah, we went to New York, my, um, and uh, it was it was such a cool thing. To you know, they got the uh, the buff guy that comes out first and gets everybody laughing. They have like a you know warm up comic. Yeah, every show gets does. everybody loosened up. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, oh, it was just such a rush. He comes out and just to be there live in that fucking audience was incredible. Yeah. Um, I be couldn't believe cool. it. I should it, do that. You should. I, I yeah. would recommend it. And it was, it's not expensive. I mean, a bus ride to New York and the tickets for the Daily Show, the only thing you have to do is get them. Like, if, you wanted, if you wanted to go, you got to, if you wanted to go, you better get them now. You go in a year, maybe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and like with Letterman, it got even worse over the years because it just, you know. Yeah. It wasn't expensive to go. No, there's it's a, just, few people, a waiting list. There's a Walmart, few people right? I would place on that level, though, that would want to meet. It'd be like John Stewart, Doug Stanhope, Rogan. Um, Duncan Trussell, I'd like to talk to him. I can't believe we missed Doug. That just still... Yeah. And he was so close. It was just a (laughs) Doug Stanhope was an hour away, and it was $25, and I was so fucking broke. We were both And stuck with my shit situation with my ex-girlfriend that I couldn't go. Mm. I was so fucking pissed off. But, Michael was a shitter. At the you time. know what I mean? Like just to sit in that crowd. I never even. Like, yeah. God damn it. That would have been fucking awesome. Hey Doug, if you're listening, uh, <laughs> you know, stay it. alive for one more tour at least. Cause, <laughs> you know, I don't really give a fuck after that. I just want to see you live once. You know, then you can piss off. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Doug Stanhope is just so fucking real. It's unreal. That's, that's what I mean. You know, I don't. I can just imagine the presence of being around. I'd want to meet. Person. I'd. Uh, I'd want to meet. Smith too. He's fucking. He Absolutely. seems like a cool ass fucking dude. You, you really like creative. Always reminded create. me a lot of him in a laid back manner. Well, yeah. I mean, like I always like. He just seems back, good like, natured yeah. and wants to encourage the people that he finds cool, and that's yeah. fucking respectable. Yeah. How the fuck can you hate on that? It is. You know what I mean? I get where he's coming cool from. He's like, dude. fuck this industry. I'm gonna do shit my way. I'm and sorry, I'm like, Cody, but he is a lot I like give him you. a thumbs up. I'm like, good yeah. for you, buddy, dude. You get, yeah, he gives dudes like me hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, dork in the room. All right, Cody. I said it out loud. Kevin Smith and you are the coolest dorks and it's yes. awesome and I'd like to be part of that dudes, yeah, too, like, yeah, like, yeah, that, that originally is what got me going creatively shit. like when I wanted to work with film for a while still yeah. kind of do but you know what I mean it was like seeing Clerks so I was like oh you make movies like that yeah and like, you realize ah, the shit. mind behind that man yeah, or whatever fun as hell oh, you know what I mean yeah it sure looked, it's a lot of work don't get me wrong I, that I have was no idea what it's like to make a movie and I give you credit for all the hard work you do yeah but so Kevin Smith, another genius to add to the list of all the all the good wonderfulness that we're like you know jetting on. I mean we're we're in their way. I've always wanted speak, to. I've always, no, I've always wanted to meet Maynard too from Tool, but like I, right, I, right. I, I, that's the only conversation I swear to God that I would ever be scared of. 
I don't. I, I always feel like I'm going to say the wrong thing the whole time. I'd fucking lock up. I know it. Well, I told you, my my worst one was Phil and Selmo. That's the one that. I've yeah. Met, so I've, met, I've met some pretty cool motherfuckers over the years. Some really really cool motherfuckers. But Phil, I I, just, I, I just totally fucking I I couldn't even talk uh, speak correctly because he just had a presence about him. Mm-hmm. Phil and Selmo, Pantera, you know, fucking uh, Super Joint Ritual, Down, yeah. Holy shit, balls! Yeah. And it was like just me and a couple buddies and Phil. It wasn't like a mob session. We were mm-hmm. chilling, you know. You're like, uh, uh, I'm sitting in oh, this room right Pepper now. Oh, and Keenan was there too, by the way. Just nice. to give credit to, he is an awesome guitarist. Nice. Down. Yep. That was out in, uh, I think, Syracuse. With I was with Keith and a few other good close friends of mine. Sweet. That was a good time. Sweet. No, I it's just... It's fun to meet people that you admire. There's yeah. no doubt about it. No, that's, that's what I mean. Like, I hope I can get into creative projects that allow me to be in that world and meet some people and talk to some people and have some, like, interesting yeah. shit go down. You know what I mean? No, I don't think there's anything wrong with aspiring to that. Like, yeah. There's not. You want to knock on me for it? Fuck it. I don't care. As, as a man that struggled with <laughs> Why the fuck that, would I care? Yeah. I, gotta, well, I don't want to pull a YOLO on you, but, you know... <laughs> No, it's it's hard though, dude. You you as a as any kind of creator of substance, which is I consider you, with the slander thing, with everything you got going on these days, you're you're, you're creating content, and with that comes this price, you know, and uh, it's a balance. That we get, we talked about it last time. So I, I just gotta get the re- fuck out of this. I don't want to be redundant about it, but what I wanted to get the only point I wanted to get at is, just like with my aspirations and stuff that I'm involved in. It's 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 not the money. It's not the fame. Because I certainly no, hell no. try. I try my best no. to be avoided at the mall because yeah. I I love people and yeah I yeah we've already went into this. But we went into all that. But yeah. the point is, you're doing it for the experience. The reason yeah. I like being in a rock and roll band is because I like the rock and roll lifestyle experience that comes tagged with that. Yeah. The reason you like to be comic and do comedy is because there's an attachment to a an experience that's yeah. the ticket yeah. to that ride I yeah. bought the ticket to the metal head metal show yeah, ride exactly. you bought the ticket to the comic ride it's awesome because you it's it, no, it I just doesn't come down to dollar bills and all that it's the whole package soul sucking hell of a fucking place just not, nothing it's just nothing so yeah. I got a feeling if I get somewhere else it'll just be completely different it reminds me of that old back song Ain't gonna work for no soul sucking jack. I'm just take it on back and I ain't saying jack. I ain't gonna work for no soul sucking jack. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I mean. Like, I know I'm gonna have to fucking grind some shit before I do anything. Got a long goddamn road ahead of me, but it's like, at least if it's got some kind of fucking focus, it'll be okay. I'll be alright with it. And then, like, that's where you step out of the freak out. Like, what are you doing, life? You don't want to get it wrong. You got to get over that fear and just start doing shit. You know what I mean? I'm a great example. I'm a complete fuck up from birth. Same and here. I'm a I mean, fuck up really, forever, on though. visual perception alone, I'm a yeah. fucking, I'm a piece of broken shit that came out wrong. But the point I'm getting at is, I'm a perfect example. It never stopped me from having a really great time with, like, yeah. rock and roll and art and music and community and fucking really being something instead of being like I'm just I, I just knew it from the moment I could think coherently and cognitively I'm like I'm not going to fall in line even yeah. though I'm bound to a wheelchair I there was always to that fall in line no that gut feeling it's was like always... watching people walk off a cliff and you're saying stop yeah, and yeah, they don't stop it's that it's that gut cliff. feeling where you're like you're like that, you go to do it, and then there's that hesitation moment. You're like, wait, what? why am I doing this? Yeah, like you... this doesn't feel right. And then from there, once that happens once, yeah, unless you're really willfully stupid, yeah, uh, you know, delusional, fucking crazy kind of shit, uh, it's not gonna go away. It's gonna grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what every sis- like system or organization of control over like populations and civilizations Utilized is always design. tries to snuff it oh they snuff it snuff but they it also yeah. I think they've also in some regard psychologically learned how to manipulate a lot of this stuff in yeah. their favor to oh, make yeah. that machine of meat grind no yeah they've set up perfect conditions you know, for us Floyd, for reference. people that wake up like that to be isolated and feel cut off because they've killed the sense of community mm-hmm. so you're you're like you're, you're kind of encouraged to stay in your home mm-hmm. and do your thing so 
where the fuck are you meeting these cool people? Right. But the internet's kind of changing that. But it's it still is not the same as me and you sitting here talking mm-hmm. to each other. But it definitely is scratching an itch that we forgot we had. Yeah. It's like, I mean, just look from like the 90s and it was just like, if you watch like a real clip of like what the 90s was, it's like riots and flannel and yeah. fire and you know, I mean, it was crazy. Well, I think when you fear, think... fear, fear, no, I'm saying like fear, 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 it yeah, was pumped out. Of course. Then the internet hit, yeah. and we were all like, oh, we can talk to each other. Right. And it that's was. different. It was a lift. That's why it's, it, that's why it's being threatened down the daily, you know, because uh, it's a, uh, it is, it's a powerful thing. It's a powerful tool, indeed. I think it's, a, I think it's a step, and I think you have to take it beyond your digital life, people. What you're getting from it needs to. It, uh, I like. Yeah, I saw an Alan Watts meme I posted the other day. It was um, uh, it was in the actually it was in the slander video. I think it was uh, psychedelic drugs. Like once you do, hang up the phone. You know, mm-hmm. no, no, it's like go out there and practice it. Because mm-hmm. like once you get the message, you hang the phone up and you go out there and do it. Mm-hmm. Instead mm-hmm. of like harping on just doing the thing. Right. Right. So like yeah. instead of like just being like the internet, the internet, the internet, you got to go the internet. Sweet go outside yeah. and do shit to change shit. Yeah, absolutely. Because nothing's going to get done from you eating Cheetos, watching motivational videos on YouTube and make, make you feel better. But after a while, that'll lose its charm. Well, that was a debate we had in our most recent English class last semester. Um, remember, it came up about, you know, the internet and whether it's, you know, utility or you know, yeah. useful or not. Or I've whatever. talked about it on the podcast and before, you, you blaming know, the, the object instead of the person. It's no diss to the professor, the but she was trying to lean the class towards the idea that the internet was just garbage, and you know. But I think she was, I think she was playing devil's advocate. To it get wasn't the people. internet; it was the phones. It was the phones and such like that. But what we were trying to counteract with the proposal was that there's there is it's not just all cat memes and fucking you know <laughs> bullshit. That's what I think where you said in yeah. class you're like. It's not all just fucking tits and ass. There is actually people out there having legitimately intelligent debates. Don't discredit the whole massive movements that spawn from movements it. Movements and such. Yeah, just because Global you see a kid on his shit, phone in yeah. a hoodie doesn't mean he's just underground documentaries people. becoming he like might be hit phenomenon the world. style shit. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's like, oh my god, this. You know, I mean, Peter Joseph. That was like, how many millions of people fucking watch that yeah. shit? That dude did it for nothing. Didn't even mean to do it. Yeah. I totally believe that guy. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. Like I, I don't want to say he's got the answers, phones. but that dude's only ever promoted having the conversation. Everybody misses the point with Peter Joseph. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, and I watch it, and I feel infuriated for you. That's another dude I want me. It's Peter Joseph. Mm-hmm. I, I swear to God, if Peter Joseph ever hears this, dude, I feel for you when I, especially when I watch you have to like deal with someone like Stefan Molyneux or whatever that dude's name is, like trying so hard but it's a foreign yeah. language to somebody yeah. that's plugged in and that's the point that and you know I mean and like yeah. I get it bro you're bearing that cross cause you gotta be out there saying it so if like the one random person watching it that feels off goes oh wait a minute yeah yeah right. you know what I mean and they join up with you that's a win yep. it is a win yeah that's the grind man feel for you man I hope the next film does well yeah, I'm. I'm always. I, I'm. I think we're both always. Culture and root, decline was really good too. We're rooting for the, not the home team. We're rooting for the human team. You know what I mean? Yeah, Instead of rooting for like I'm rooting, my little thing, I'm rooting this, for things I, I, to be awesome. Yeah, I'm rooting for it's, people to actually like. Because when you look, I want, at, it, I want you life know, to be better. Oh wow! Yeah, Before a, I die, I'd like to think my concept. species was more than just fucking consumption and living on top of each other in large structures made just to yeah. reach the sky and they're all little cubicles with jobs that they hate I mean I don't want that's I mean if I go out like that it's like well fuck good riddance fuckers you know oh, but man, I would like I to see some change man it'd be neat if I will not it'd be neat stop. if in my lifetime people could actually just have more enjoyment less workload everybody puts in their time like we talked about in the last podcast 
Actually, wait, maybe that was the after talk because we do we we gotta start doing like a slander podcast and then like, and then, like an after show recording of an after show because talking about what we just talked about right but it'd be so convoluted. It's like reality TV. Y'all, most people would love it. That's how <laughs> I would so reel it. That's shit. how I would reel the dumb motherfuckers in. You know what I mean? Uh, I would, it's like. Yeah, I mean, no yeah. diss to Chris Harwick, but what the fuck's with these after-talk shows? Yeah. Like, I get it, and you're kind of funny, so you've pulled off Chris Harwick. Yeah, he is. I do like him. But, like, The Walking Dead suffers, house. in my opinion, because they cheesy, like, cheesy, make it cheesy, yeah. promoting-wise, and how they handle it. It's too bad that show's not, like, on a fucking HBO or a Showtime, because yeah. it would be so much fucking better. We talked about his, uh, I don't know. I, it would be so fucking... TV drama e. That at midnight. Y'all motherfuckers right, need to watch True Detective watch and watch a real that. show. That at midnight. I know that's not an after show. Like no, that's actually no. That's I'm talking Chris about Hardwick's the new thing though. Yeah, no, I'm midnight. talking about the talking cool. dead. The, the thing after the walk. Oh, I know. Dead. The talking dead. I, yeah, I was no, like, after midnight's fine. Project. I think yeah. it's kind of cool because that was his other project. You know, yeah, after midnight's a good follow up to the Colbert and the Daily Show. Yeah, I mean, like that's not a bad thing. It's cool. I'm not hating on it, dude. I I remember him on G4 and shit. Yeah, when I said house, by the way, a house with a thousand corpses, not a house the TV show. Hugh Laurie, that's another guy who I would love to meet, by the way. Yeah. Awesome fucking actor. Like, cool ass just talk like your house. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see. Let me try this. Uh, mine's always a broken and punk dog I used to love watching House. I'm such a fucking, like, philosophy conversation nerd. I used to watch House and, like, daydream that, like, I'd be one of the ones on there having some mm-hmm. crazy intense, yeah. like, groundbreaking conversation with this dude. Because, you know what I mean? There's that part of me that's always daydreaming. It's like, I wish I could just see if I could push this person buttons. Yeah. Or go toe to toe. Well, if you've ever, you know, watched that show in any kind of a repeat or whatever schedule, man, you can start yeah. really dissecting some of your health issues, like a little bit unhealthily, if you yeah. will. I don't like, watch it for that show. I don't know, man. Maybe there is a weird bacteria always, I've never seen in town. I always you know? watched House Living for the character my, and the whatever. philosophical films. Yeah, tones. no, I do. I get it. The characters were great on that. And, and yeah. Can you believe it when the one, um, and I don't mean this in any bad context um, just because I can't think of his name the dude from Kumar, uh, oh, Kumar. Oh, when he was shit. shot on that I'm sorry if you haven't no, watched shit. House oh my god shit what the fuck's his name oh my god I couldn't believe I it I know his I name I was like damn they just killed off like one of my favorite characters it's cause he took a job at the way it's Kelpen yeah that dude's That's fucking Kelpen. awesome he's a he's another guy I mean the list goes on I would love to fucking just he was a good chill character that in that dude. show yeah, he he's funny in a lot of movies best the episodes were always House and Wilson though Oh yeah, the best definitely. conversations. Oh, absolutely. And the fact that he played the blues. We talk about fucking house. All right, we gotta stop. We're like right, an we, episode we, of we Gossip Girls or some shit. Talking about fucking TV. Nothing wrong with enjoying a little. It grosses me out because I feel like a fucking standard American. Once like, in a while, you're allowed. It's everything's in moderation, it's, you know. It's true. We, but it's okay it's to true. point out we have a country that's zombified by the boob tube, so to speak. True. But at the same time, I don't want to be restricted exactly. from buying a TV show. Try to stay vigilant in my like rejection of the hip. I understand where you're at, bro. I really have cut cable TV out of my life, like, completely. I I've, watch shows still. I'm completely still. pissed off my wife because I've just gone on these old man rants about goddamn TV and it's nothing but a fucking bunch of brainwashed bullshit, and, you know? And then I realize yeah. I'm just being a grumpy old fuck and I should just shut the fuck up. No, I, I just can't. I, no, I'm not going to watch something I hate. I'm not going to watch marketing that no, makes my skin course. fucking crawl. Yeah, yeah, and it does. And Dude. I hate when I laugh at a fucking commercial because oh, I feel like they got they me. Got you. Yeah. It fucking pisses me off. <laughs> like, damn it, they're getting my humor now. Because marketing is so goddamn clever that they'll adapt to anything as long as it works. That's the that's what capitalism basically is in a nutshell. Like, the kind of capitalism rerun is just generate more money, more money, more money, more money, more yeah. money, more money. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't matter how make and it. And as happen. you pointed out early, 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 early on, and when we started hanging out, it's all an illusion. It's fucking. It's such an illusion, and it's so provable. He's gonna pull a piece of paper I owe you on this shit. There's historical paper it's fucking trails. money. It's it's a real real illusion, folks. It's 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 a fucking. They got it's you. A promissory note. If you're really counting on, I mean, yes. Do I have money in my wallet right now? A few few dollar bills, Same so here. I can go do some. I don't look at them as sacred. I look at them as 
just a mere piece of paper proving. I like Louis' worth. thing. He talks about he you never know, viewed it like, as his money. He just viewed it shit. as money. It's just, never viewed it as his money. He viewed it as, as money, money. Yeah, that he was gonna was have just, and not have. Right. It's a pool of shit. You yeah, know? it's just fucking. <laughs> It's nice to have some of that shit Fuck in your it. pocket once in a while, but it's a fool of it, you know. <laughs> Continuing to help flow the flow of Satan's lifeblood. Yeah. Everything that fucking is wrong with the world revolves around that flow, people. Well, that's the thing. We just bitched about TV, too. I'm the guy who's got this song called Pacify that basically just says, you know, shut that shit off, tune, you know, tune, or drop yeah. in, tune out, you know, so to speak. But yeah, you know, here I will, I'll glorify a television program, but it's the same thing with, like, we were just discussing. I mean, yeah. You gotta enjoy your life too, but you yeah. can't. You, you, you I try to watch wave movies the rebel more now. flag as long as I, like, you cause, can. Because of um, technology, though, there are like some cool under the radar movies we made. I like weird movies just all over the place. Different ones will fuck with me. Yeah. That I like, and you know, what I mean, it'll be random. I'm pretty open minded when I watch it, but I know when I'm watching something that's gonna be like guilty pleasure mainstream. And, then and I know that's, that's all it is. Rewatch. Like I'm gonna see Godzilla because that's yeah. that's that's my way of having fun that's my stupid that's as Doug Stanhope right. said that's my stupid yeah, you know I what I mean agree. like yeah but I'm not gonna fucking watch Fox's prime time no I fucking no. shoot myself first no I, after the last couple of scenes I saw they, were, they weren't even scenes they were just you know like clips or whatever uh, thumbnails from the show and I mean I basically have realized this is it's kind of a panty upskirt show with like a bunch of bullshit behind it it's really sad. I mean, I kind of, as a, I don't know, maybe feminist, going for the for the feminist side of things, I think it's kind of a, just a shame they put the girls out there on that program like they do. I don't think it's tactful, and I don't think the content that they're talking about is, I think it's self-righteous, and it also is hypocritical because, ugh, there's just a scumbagness to Fox. I'm sorry. I know I ranted, but... I watch Fox and I just get sick in my mouth. Oh, uh, NBC's boring. Fox sucks. I've never watched CBS. Yeah, I'm not shit. hating on just one. That's why I'm pretty I, much shy. N- like I've watched. I used Big to enjoy Bang. CNN at one time. I've now watched that's the Big bullshit. Bang Theory a few times, but like I have never been a fan of CBS shows, and I don't know why. But I'm a, I'm a Letterman dude, so. No, CBS I never is really liked late Letterman. night. I would watch Conan sometimes, but yeah, I liked it. Conan for a while there. I was more like watching Space Coast, in Coast to Coast and 2000s. shit. Now it's fucking 2013. It's like, no, I where remember, the like, fuck did that I remember, time go? I, re- <laughs> I remember old school Adult Swim. That's what I used to watch, like the trip out cartoons and shit. Yeah. Fucking oh, Space Coast, yeah. Coast to Coast was like such abstract humor. Such, such tri- I grew up on Kelly's fucked up favorites, shit. <laughs> like, Space Coast, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you expect from the dude that's raised on like, that's raised on like, I don't know, South Park, Eminem. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. What, what's really gonna come out of that? Oh, I had M crank the other day cleaning the fucking house. Eminem came out when I was in fucking was grade like, school, oh, dude. Shit. So that's like, crazy. it's been there for a long like time for me. Wow. Yeah, dude. Wow. That's how young I am. <laughs> yeah, I was already a pissed off twenty year old when he came out. So it was, it was probably a different point. We of listened view, to him growing up because he was funny. But he was. It made I me got, laugh so fucking hard. I got hard. it right off the bat. When his, hi, my name, back when MTV yeah. used to still play videos once in no, a while. He would have punchlines that would make me laugh out. like it was con- like stand-up comedy. Yeah, or like, he I was rapping. It. He was rapping really good. Don't get me wrong, people. But yeah. some of that stuff would make me, like uh, like a bunch of us as a group laugh till we cried because it was yeah. so fucking funny. And at that time in life, even, and your perspective is obviously different than mine, you know, but at that period in time, we our world needed fucking Eminem. Thank you very much. Yeah. Or at least more of that. It was Eminem. I'm raised on like Eminem, Marilyn Manson. If we know. can't slapstick this shit, if we can't have a little tongue in cheek fun with these horrific events that are now being broadcast at your fingertips, we need somebody for some comic relief, some satire. Because you know what? To look at pictures of the horrific sides of humanity day in and day out. I'm glad there's an Eminem. I'm glad there's a fucking Doug Stanhope. I'm glad yes. there's a fucking Bill Hicks. Thank it's God. just a ride. It, if I didn't have if those fucking figures. If I'm not reminded figures. that it's just a ride, I'm going to freak the fuck out and go, how fucking stupid can a species be? Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself here, but yeah, Jesus yeah. fucking evolve already. I know. I was... Like, my generation was, like, the explosion of nihilism, which got subverted into the hipster fucking lifestyle, which is yeah. gross as shit. That's our fault. 
Do you know what I mean? Like that's. Uh, see, I was. See, I remember 90s, talking to my so friends. It was all like back and. I, I remember talking to my friend's little brother, and they were, he was talking about hipsters, and I was like, if anything, motherfucker, first off, they base their shit off of like our generation and what we do, mm-hmm. and they're just douchebags. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not ironic. Yeah. Why am I wearing this? I don't fucking know. It's what I own. I don't think about it, okay? No, if you want to know the, the, the honest to God truth, the whole time we usually record these, I'm half fucking uh, feeling like a retard or, you know, not cool or smart well, or oh, not this or that. But all I'm saying is, you know, to what you talked about, you know, like hipsters or people being a certain thing or not thing, I just be. You yeah. know, we're doing this slander thing. I'm just here. I may not say it just the way I'd like to or this and that. What you're talking about, a hipster, is somebody who is so OCD and anal about how hip they are that it ain't fucking hip anymore. I think the reason slander has hipness and it is hip is because if you don't fucking claim to be hip, you're just fucking rolling the tape, bro. Bruh. (laughs) Man, psychedelics for everybody. It's real, too, man. This is real, folks. Looking up at the stars last about. night, I was like, eh, that could be a fucking television screen. How do I know this isn't like the Truman Show? Mm-hmm. Maybe we're fucking reality TV for aliens. Sometimes that gets me out of bed <laughs> in the fucking morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it's it. It's like, all right, fuck it. If I'm on the show, South Park then, already did it. There you go. I'll put out Earth, a little coming. The show. Yep. I'll put out a little song and dance for you. Here you go. Everybody dance, look. monkey. Here I am. Am I doing good enough? Am I doing bad enough? No, Am that's, a, that's the thing I can't shake it what like this. No do? matter... What should I do? No matter how <laughs> radically I alter my thinking or my way of conducting myself, I always feel like I'm a hamster on the wheel. Mm-hmm. I can't shake that fucking feeling. Like, somehow you can't escape this loop that you're stuck in. But I think you can change what, like, the loop itself is, but you're always going to be in a loop. We are nothing more than mannequins. Yep. Whatever we project onto ourselves. That's what we are. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's like project yeah, it's like staring at it like a full size mannequin oh, and like yeah, projecting it to being a real person somehow. Yeah. You're doing that to yourself because you really are just a blank canvas. Yep. But it's a good one to, to to it's why Bill God Bill, whatever wherever his essence may be, I'm glad there was an adult not only like my father who was very real about You can things. only understand what I just I said. I can look if you've at Bill Hicks' of, to, stuff. Like, I can look at your stuff. Death. I can check out other people's work. And I'm so glad that they're there to make me feel a little less fucking crazy. Because... It's not crazy. It's, it's you don't, just you don't You don't operate under the ego paradigm. I guess I don't. And no, like we do, but we don't. Is. We're aware of ego. Like ego is the thing that exists. It's not like a tangible, living, sentient thing. Mm-hmm. It's all self-generated. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's like a pitfall. So you gotta play that game because yeah. it exists. It's like, it's like the mechanism of self awareness. Like it comes with it. That's the thing. I, I, it's probably the yep. evolutionary conflict of being just in the moment mm-hmm. and, and you're self aware of like instantaneous thing like pain and I'm hungry and shit and fuck. Again, to we're in our 20s. asking questions to Einstein discovering E equals MC squared. Do you know what I mean? It's just, and yeah. we're getting farther and farther away from that yep. in this era that we're all kind of craving right now that we can fucking taste yeah, it's so is close, in the era without that. Right. The yeah. era where you know, like, and it's not even that it's yeah. completely gone. It's just the, finally where it reaches such a critical point of so many people being aware that it's just a thing that you have to interact with and kind of keep in check that oh my god it would it would just be like an explosion of cool shit mm-hmm. uh, a complete rearranging of yeah. priorities and right back to square one we have to just rewrite this motherfucker and what did I point out in the meaning of life I believe the ego and the dangers of the ego come from one simple thing and that's death everybody has a hard time with the concept of death and from that spawns thy ego because I want to collect stuff. I want to have stuff. I want to have meaning. I want to show. Yes, and when you price, shed ego, you this. also no longer have a fear right. of death. Right. So one, well, one comes before the other. You I'm not sure. Go. 
Right. I'm not sure if it's if it's if it's of certain really things. Really I've explained it on previous podcasts. I think I go there it's a balance. Certain it's things you can't control. Yeah. Certain things you can. It's the fundamental give and take. If one has to exist. Yeah. So does the, I mean if one does, the other one does. The way it is. So the ones that you can't learn how to intellectually identify them, then take them for the are accept and let go. Don't bear that extra cross for no fucking reason is my point. Yeah. It lightens the load. So yeah. intellectually you can find a, a calmness or a sense of progression and positivity. And that starts with a lot of things from physiological shit to environment to um, conversational social dynamics and it's complex but it's not overwhelming it's it's really not it just would take a long time to fucking explain that's all it's, it's, a, it's just a really long class you don't want to take it's like, it's like when you get points on your license and uh, you gotta go take defensive driving for like whatever six hours it is or whatever and you don't want to fucking do it but you do it you need to do that with this it's the same principle anything to achieve these major changes you don't think you're smart enough to understand is based on stuff that already exists that you use so really it's not that tangible that's what we mean by all those barriers they're illusions for most of you, you just took when you get to our status mouth, you bro. will encounter the real barriers yeah you just took the word out of my mouth the barriers are not oh it's, it's such a it's, mm-hmm. it gets really sticky for me to talk to people about this stuff but barriers are what they are but it's 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 how you individually deal with said barrier yeah and and as you said the more you do the more you exercise the more you feel your endurance start to race the more you feel yourself get stronger and you feel yourself moving through what i'll say yeah. for now the matrix if you will reality whatever you want to call it and you are building up this hide this 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 uh, armor and it's not like a bad armor where you're you know uh-huh. you're isolating yourself it's just a sense of power and power you're empowered it's not armor mm-hmm. it's power and the more you just pluck at it and fucking go man you just get stronger and the energy builds no just and it, uh, at it, one point we you are just you were sources. you thought there was People things are. stopping you and once you realize is the things that you cognitively think are the things that are stopping you actually don't stop you what's stopping you is that perception it's it's a it's a mind trick. It's not. It's right. it's completely it's completely mental. It's cerebral. It's Most you have to realize to that you can't even trust yourself all the time. It's okay, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't trust anything. And all hope is lost. It just means you shouldn't even take your own opinion that seriously. You, you know, you gotta kind of know. At least not the first one. You know, let it maybe have a second, a third, a fourth. Play devil's advocate in your head yeah. a few times. Bounce shit around. You see people react so, um, you know, spastically to situations because uh, they've got themselves hell bent on their first opinion or their first perception of something rather than taking a deep breath. It sounds cliche. And perhaps try just use that thing called imagination and try and assess things from, from other different angles. angles and perspectives because therefore when you step into that portal if you will of whatever situation that may be you're more adept to handle it properly because you've done some analysis now there are times when a speeding car might be coming at you and you have seconds to react i'm talking about a different scenario here i'm talking about a generalization of living life as a whole yeah and just taking a deep breath with all things that come make time to digest and assess and then proceed what you really need to strive for is when something presents itself you have to be able to assess it honestly understand the rules of the situation do's and don'ts you need to understand what the give is and what the take is you need to understand what you like what's your wiggle room uh how, and then you know what i'm saying you're yeah. you're understanding the the nature of the engagement and then the next thought should be, what are my options? Not, oh my God, this is happening to me. Right. Oh my God, this is happening. No, it goes, okay, this is happening to mm-hmm. me. It, Move past th- it. This is the law. This is this. This uh-huh. is that. Now, tell a story. Mm-hmm. 
blank canvas. You just, all you've done is you've established core principles and you can be, it's malleable to a fucking yeah, just whatever. Like it, and if the better you get at that, yeah. the harder you are to pin down. Oh, yeah. Because so, now you're the master of your own reality. Yes. I think that's what Black Sabbath is probably getting at. Yes, you're bowing to the laws of the universe. Yes. And you're using them like you are your own lawyer in a way. It's not worshiping the devil. It's worshiping your own powers and then investing time into I worship my powers. I gamble. Not I gamble that I can be better than that. Worship in that sense. You're rolling the dice you're on some saying. situations, though. Because you're going, I you're have more faith in myself than that. Ball. But you're just fucking, yeah, daddy works. needs new yeah. pair of shoes. You know what I mean? Daddy needs Cadillac. Here we go. And you're oh, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And you know, you got to know when to take those fucking shots. You know what I mean? Like, and if you fail, track. you fail. If you don't, you don't. Mm -hmm. But if you took it at the right time and it was worth it, even if you fail, you'll be like, all right. I had to, though. Right. You know, I had to save it for that moment. And again, that comes back to the, the one of the greatest quotes. Positioning. Is... Mm -hmm one of the most cliche quotes, quotes, but it's, uh, you know, the only thing that fear is fear itself. And, and, and really what a lot of this stuff we talk about comes down to as far as it being semi-motivational or whatever is, is uh, trying to deduce that fear, that over general feeling of fear that our species suffers from. It's attached to our emotional structures and so on and so forth. But I would like to be a part of stripping or shedding that away as much as possible because I think fear is what drives us in our worst decision making mostly as a as a mankind if you will individual and otherwise I don't know we're used to just being told this is the way it is what happened why are we here here's history learn this at no point are they are you directly fucking told Hey, we don't really know what's going on. We could use your help. So as students, it's your obligation to take this to the next level. It's funny though, that's education. How we teach history. This is what we got talking about last generational after gaps. The last podcast as well. Are it's real. It's so funny to me that we can sit in a college classroom and talk about history like adults and talk about what has been documented as far as we consider you know legitimate if computers hearing are... about these horrific things in our past and 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 yeah it just i don't know maybe it's my age there were moments in history classes throughout my college experience thus far that i could actually feel the redness in my face i could feel the rage and anger about what was being presented as our our how things have shift come gears, to be. shift gears, shift gears. But I want to be positive about it. No, 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 no. no. I, and okay, no, I'm saying shift gears and, and say that. Oh Jesus Christ, I had it. Now I'm losing it. Sorry, boss. No, um, okay, shit. Um, we're we talking about yeah. No, yeah. Okay. So yeah, no. Why do you think computers act the way they do? Computers are used to build smarter and faster computers, which are used to build smarter and faster computers. Humans make, like, what it took you 38 years to learn what you know. Mm -hmm. The generations that come after you will learn said information quicker mm -hmm. because, you know what I'm saying? It mimics Absolutely. the same process. Yeah. Every, like I said, every big leap forward we make is a pattern of how all this works. Yes. Because we mimic it, and then the stuff we create mimics us, which mimics that. So yeah. it's like third generation universe in a way almost. That's why nearly 40, which I would I would hope that is- Condensing and complexity. I would like to think 40 is a halfway point for me. Anything past 80 and I'd be like, ah, fuck off. Anyway, um, I, I guess what I was getting at is at almost 40 in a classroom setting like that of any kind, what you're talking about is like being caught in the center of the fucking shit cycle. Yeah. And I'm I'm at the middle of my shit cycle. If it's uh -huh. if it's zero to eighty and I'm nearly forty, I'm at the middle of my shit cycle going, Yeah, I can see things exponentially getting a little bit better. I can read some history, I can see some new current moral mm -hmm. issues going mm -hmm. on and, and analyze those. But nonetheless, as far as my life cycle is concerned, I'm pretty much smack dab in the middle of it going 
Now, is this going to spin into this direction in the next 40 years? Or is it going to spin into that direction in the next 40 years? Or some fucking crossbreed exactly. of it all? It's and, the and fucking Wild West with all this stuff right now. It's the Wild West with all this right now. And yeah. that's all I'm trying to point out is oh, yeah. a, as a man who's yeah. in my mid to late 30s, uh, uh, I am experiencing what some would call midlife crisis type feelings where I'm going, I'm not the smartest guy. I never claim to be. That's not a midlife crisis. But I'm this is a big group going, of people that agree. What the fuck is going on? Well, there's a big group of people that agree so, with you. I wouldn't say it's a midlife crisis. It's actually a common thought. Right. But what does a man do? What is it? What do you do? What do you do other than tobacco? I got a fucking cigarette and fuck it. That's well. That's what I'm doing right now. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Exactly. But, or I'm doing this here with you. You know. Exactly. It's awesome. It's my point. Just do whatever the fuck you want, though. If Rome is burning. And you can't put out the fire. I don't know. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Kick a can of gas. No I'll do what I can. You know, I'll say my piece, and whatever works out works out. I'm not gonna take it personal. I played my role in it. This I this, this movie, this play, this There's is not my script, motherfuckers. You and, I, and that's that's this. It just is what it is, and it's not anything to to make bad or worse. So mm-hmm. I want to be clear on that. This isn't one of those judgment calls. The main difference between yourself and myself is I have gone and made another product of myself. And I've yeah, but wouldn't you want to impart that same thing to him so he didn't have to, you could spare him the fear quicker? No, well, that's a separate conversation. <laughs> Completely, absolutely. Sorry. No, sorry, I'm sorry. I was just like, it was like, we you're like, that I'm going to pull like a Dr. V moment on you where he's like, yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it sidetracked me. No, it's all good. It's all good. I, uh, I just think I think that's the one thing that does separate us is like you know yeah. it's, it, there's something to be said for once you've spread your seed as I have if anything he's just gonna uh, learn it quicker cause he's got you it, but, but it just puts you that it's like if you've got glasses on and then you put another pair of glasses on top of those that's your kid or yeah. if you take on a wife you put another pair of glasses on top of those glasses now you got three pairs of glasses you start seeing things through different lenses is all I'm saying I right? know and and I think, but but it's cool. I'm not saying there's a good. But that, that's bad. that's not just it, it, so, that's not just what, exclusive to this it's though. It's what makes me. That's think a, that, that's about how life works in general. Way, you know? It doesn't matter if you're single or with a family. You're wearing different lenses because of your chosen path. You're interacting with others, and they're a part of your life regardless. So you have to be able to see through the different lenses, so to speak. You know right. what I mean, and be aware. So that's a skill that just yeah. develops in your own personality-driven way. I'm not saying you it's have a, to it's have a, no. I'm saying it's a common, fundamental thing it. we have in common. It's something yeah. that should bring yes. people together. That we can be empathetic and understand it because we understand the nature right. of it. But it's not just exclusive to like you know what I'm yeah. saying. I think I, I think all I was getting at is my fuck it. Yeah. Got amped up when I was when I got the big hey we're having a baby. It was like. My yeah. buckets had to go up a notch, and yeah. th- that's the difference. Is there was a time when I could watch Rome burn and go, ha ha ha, ha smoke pot, drink beer, get fucked up, do coke, mm-hmm. fucking. I was a fucking party monger, motherfucker. I don't know why I'm even shaming it. I'm a good. Yeah, man. but I'm not doing that I'm right now. That's not what I'm and preaching I'm not right now. You are. I know. I'm not know. saying that. I'm just saying there's something about like the 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 the, the need to fucking care changes when you got that kind of thing. You, you can care, care about, without caring, you know. Though. No, what I'm saying is have your cake and eat it too. What I just literally said was yeah. care but don't care. Care and try and do what you can. But in the end, don't take it fucking personal if it blows up in your face. There's yeah. nothing you can do. It's coming. It ain't all waiting on you, motherfuckers. Your end, your fucking final result, it'll be there no matter what. And it's on the based on the little idiosyncrasies of the choices in the current moment. And right. it's like ripple effect madness and so you can only see so far out that's why games like chess and shit are really cool and why we've kept them around is it teaches you kind of that manipulative thinking to be able to think like 20 moves out that's it's a hard muscle to work you know what i mean that's why people don't like doing it. it's like fuck that's that but that to understand life is like that that's why it's such an overwhelming it's if anything that's just ramping up your fucking thing they were doing anyway (laughs) <laughs> it's just that it, it's, it, it becomes a bit depressing for me just because and I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea that I'm on suicidal binge or yeah. that anything like that or that I deny the glory of my existence simply stated if life is a job at Burger King 
and then you make another life and you know it's pretty much destined to life at Burger King because we've decided that that's what life is yeah. just to say what is life it's almost like you just go oh man you know but we didn't decide gonna, that my, right but I'm just saying like you know to yeah, see but, another person go yeah. through what we and I what you and I discuss on a daily basis of just to exist yeah. is a fucking bitch yeah well it's a bitch but there's a whole other side to life man there's a whole other it, there's a lot out there worth doing and what I'm you are promoting that. lately That's true. completely contradicts that being a worry. Yeah. That's what we're addressing, really, people. Yeah. What we're saying is, yes, that does exist. Again, yeah. it's the, the nasty, not nice side of life but I don't is think there. That's, that's not going to change mean? justices. Have, he's he's got a lot of fucking options. But that's not going to change. He's, I, I, I know, I have a good feeling he's going to have to go through the same exact mental psychological it's not struggle and question that's, that's fucking impossible his reality be relative to him just like my reality is relative to yeah me. but it's not yeah my that's what i mean re- reality was relative it, it, to you him. will his his experience is untan intangible to you and in, in, in the, the fundamental way it really is like like i said in those core principles that we share you can identify with a person on that level You're right because it's that but the rest of it is completely fucking self-generated <laughs> you know what I'm i would like to believe that so much in my heart but there's just something that keeps gnawing at me where I'm like, I ha- I, I am his protector. No, or I'm not that debating any of that. Instills that fear. That's all. That it's it all. All this conversation I, started to be. I know. I'm trying fear. to get off the kid topic. Kid. That's fine. We can talk <laughs> the kid topic. <laughs> I know. I just don't want to be. I don't want to depress that. people. You know? No, it's fine. I get it. No. no I know. That's totally cool. Uh, you know, all I'm saying is that uh, for some of us who get to the point in their life where they are like, what the fuck. What the fuck? Literally, as a man or a woman, yeah. thinking person goes, they, they take they take even a, a, a tiny critical look at the world. Yeah. Our little blue shit spot would just little be... Little playable would, down, would, would, would have that moment of, what the fuck? Yeah. And then, I, then, and then you know, it's I didn't want to be depressing about it. There is so much to, to do here. It's unreal. And if you believe in your imagination, that takes it even to a step further, which is unreal. You can be and achieve anything, and I'm not saying that you can't. I'm saying that there's just, uh, you know... I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, want, I, don't, I don't go to... I hope the best for everybody. I want them I don't, all I don't to... Want, like, I, like, I've walked there. the line. I don't want to get caught up in the sentimentalness of all that stuff, because what I'm saying is, is like, I'm not going to look at somebody telling me you can be anything. I want you to be realistic. And what that means is defining who you are. And to define who you are means you have to realistically look at where you come from, who the fuck you were involved with, what decisions you've actually made. And then, you know I mean, based on that, you will define forward because if you contradict who you really are, you'll fail every time. That's you do what you do because that's who you are. Yes. That's the point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't not be Brad. A lot of that stuff you're worried about is because people contradict who they are and run into massive amounts of issues because you're you're operating in an incorrect way. It's it's so it's it's kind of like how cops will solve stuff. It's like usually the most basic explanation. Mm-hmm. There's like a, actually a term for that shit. I can't remember what it's called, but like a lot of times that does apply for a lot of stuff in life. But now there's definitely convoluted meta conversations mm-hmm. you can have that are never ending and yeah, they are kind of pointless and I'm not going to lie but they're fun to me yeah but and you know it's it's that. not as bad if anything he'll have it better than we ever did <laughs> you know what I'm saying in a way in, in a certain way where you fear My because of, yeah in a certain way because of you fear what he's going to experience what you experience in another way though because of the progressive shit yeah it'll be better than me and you ever had it from an earlier age from him and also he's going to draw the same conclusions you did right. faster so again it's like watching YouTube. You might go, oh, damn. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, no, absolutely. But why not think of the positive side of it? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that, again, back not to about middle age again. I just back, watched you. That's why I, I just watched feel, you surfing down the rabbit hole, though, and I'm like, don't go yeah. down that dark place. Yeah, it's, it, well, for me, again, like, the, you know, we've expressed this before. These yeah. debates or talks, like, for some people, it's dry. For some people, it may be depressing. For others, it might just be like, mental masturbation None, yeah. nonetheless this is completely self-serving we, for me and you. <laughs> we do. 
this is what we do and this is and this is what we would be doing even if we weren't rolling this program right now yeah we've been doing it for so long we figure we just hit record people yeah really, we, really we've been really bullshitting is. for years so we're like let's bullshit and sometimes we do bullshit about the plights of a fa- of a middle aged father. And sometimes I we just talk about late. dumb stuff. Sometimes you know, many many nights Cody does steer me in a positive direction because um, uh, many would say I'm a great father by definition, but I still have this self loathing nature where I don't feel like I'm good enough. And Cody's there with lots of nights with the voice of reason, like, look, brah, you know what I'm saying? Listen to listen to your own father's advice. The boy is gonna have his own essence and his own yeah. experience. It's, just it's, be there. Yeah. You're you're already doing Kick more back, than man. anybody Shit's else. Happening. Be there. You yeah. know, there's many fathers who just aren't even there, and that's a fucking travesty. But those kids are gonna turn out the way they fucking turn out. It's just yeah. I just don't like talking about these issues because it's understand. so gross and outdated it, to it, me. It is. It, it, it's like you know what I mean. Like like that's why I teed off so hard when we wrote that tape, that paper. On I guess teen, I want to rile on like up, teen pregnancy, you know? and then it was like um. Uh, you had to incorporate like uh, whatever education for like you know what I mean like mm-hmm. what do they teach abstinence or kind of safe sex stuff like I honestly just want to shake people and smack them on both sides of that argument yeah just be like stop it it's sex here's a rubber mm-hmm. you can get diseases mm-hmm. it's all you tell them mm-hmm. and you should tell them to be responsible and this is actually still a legitimate fucking political issue in certain parts of this country. That is so back ass word old, like, like that's like old news to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like I assessed right. same when I like kind of view same, religion. That's how we're when we talk about like the, the problem we, of religion, I feel like been do. there, done that. You know what I mean? We give third world so far past it at this point. Tactics, do they use them? I have no idea. Well. From what I've read, third world countries that are that are given prophylactics for use that have issues and problems because of population and other STDs and stuff, even when given said prophylactics, just it, the, the virus continues. The the babies, the diseases. The yeah, but that could all that. just be a reflection of we just need to get our shit together and be self accountable, like how me and you always talk right, about. Right. Right. Yeah, man. Do I have a kid? No, I'm saying that's why I like that's why I don't mind this. This isn't a blue. No, but no, but you know me like this is good fodder. For operating me like I'm like if know. people want proof, I just haven't put myself in a position. I've never even had a scare, so yeah. I don't fucking care. You're and yes, I have been you. fucking laid, so right. it's not that hard. And I've walked away from it when I was hammered. Well, I'm the dude hammered, that hammered, that going nah, nope, not ruining my life. Smart. I go jerk off into my arm and fall asleep and I pass out because I'm fucking hammered. Like, I don't really care when I'm hammered. Again, yeah. like, I'm not driven. Like, I don't like... The whole psychology, pathology, understanding we have where Freud, when everything's based on sexuality, I don't believe that. I think it's just a small part in the cog and the wheel. And if you define yourself by your sexuality and it's your entire personality, it's kind of boring and lackluster. I'm just saying it's not a knock on anybody, but... Don't get wrapped too Move up. Move on. It. It's just like yeah, the it's, thing. Just like the it's handicap the fucking, thing. It's if what I you enjoy doing. About being a it's not. Yeah. All day, Jesus. Fuck that. Move on. You got a disability. You're black. Move on. You're mm-hmm. white. Move on. You're gay. Move on. You're lesbian. Move on. Doesn't fucking. Yeah. We love to just harp on Whatever. defining. If you're fucking humping you know, somebody, good for you. Yeah. Well, fuck on. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm just saying it's not really a big deal. I honestly think this country should be like like not this country but the society is in terms of how they view sexuality like our whole definition of like how strict monogamy is the dynamic and expectations of a standard relationship and how things function we need to realize too that that's all artificial constructs that is an illusion as well when you're in a relationship with somebody it could fucking be whatever the fuck you want that's the fun part of being in a relationship is that is also itself a blank canvas thanks puritans if you have a problem with weird sexual habits guess what it's most likely christian puritan your fault because you, you should, know what when you squeeze a thing so you hard you should be able to hook up with somebody a lot of weird shit's gonna come popping out of the holes you know like yeah. You yeah. should be able to hook up with somebody just out of pure curiosity and nobody bad an eye at it. Why? Because it's like, fuck it. And if it's consensual, I'm not saying 
anything. And people would take that the wrong way. That's just the logical truth. If you were to pursue the, what I'm talking about down the rabbit hole, you would eventually arrive at that conclusion. That that's where it would be a commonplace if we evolved into that state, probably. Because you wouldn't view it with this... I don't want, I'm not saying that there's no passion or love in sex, there can be, but there is also just, you need to fuck your brains out, and that's fine too. I think the whole reason we started this conversation anyway is because we do have an issue. We do have a population issue. I'm sorry. I don't think we do. People are cool. Yup. All right. I'm one of them. Yeah, we're neat. We have we can a think. stupid we got, people issue. We can move around. We can do some things and stuff, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I'm, I'm a believer that um, if you have a leaky faucet, turn off the water, then fix the leak where it's leaking, then turn the water back on. My same principle with population. I'm sorry. If you looked at a fucked situation and said this isn't a society that's actually working to the benefit of the majority, turn off the faucet for a minute, fix some shit, get some old ass motherfuckers out of the fucking way because they're just standing around like... The population thing is just a systemic problem hands. for people not conducting themselves the right way. I though. understand that. So, and I'm not, so you I'm, fix that part, then that part now clears... Now I sound like a fucking communist that I'm like, oh, no, let's fucking make sure... No, I'm split. saying is... I'm just saying. If you change the things I'm talking about fundamentally, that would solve itself by itself. You wouldn't have to proactively and... handle that situation as it's happening. You wouldn't have to go out there and combat the population... If you just fix the current population's way of thinking, because then said explosive amount of reckless childbirth would end. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you would see a fucking just plummet of numbers. Kids. Yeah. yeah, people who can't take care of themselves or let yes. them a child just, have to not have children. Yeah, and that has to start with a fundamental a with people accountability that they can get away with having kids when they can't. We have a society that believes. Well, I can have a kid. Everybody has kids. I can have a kid. And then guess what? That kid's not the parent's problem. It's somebody else's fucking problem because that parent wasn't ready to be a fucking parent. He becomes parent. a fucking mouth breather. And it's disgusting. And it's and, it's, and I'm sorry. Busy. It's all good. No, I'm just... I hate to bring your show so much darkness, but I am the metal. No, I know, so but like I'm aware. saying all those things. I'm agreeing with you. What I'm saying is I'm taking it one step further. Yeah. You can no. fix those problems. You're younger. Fixable. You have a little more hope than I do. I'm not like, it's not hope. I'm just stating obvious. Whatever's going to, I'm fight club and that shit. Chips fall where they may. I don't give a fuck yeah. at this point. <laughs> hey, that's why I agreed to be on this thing. I'm, if I want to be around bitch and I might as well be able to say I was Say your trying, piece, yeah. I was trying to Chips fall where they may though, people. It's going to play out. It's going to play out. But if you individually it's just choose to be a better burning. person, that's all it takes. Because if you do it, and I'm talking to you, and I don't even know your name, whoever the fuck it is I'm talking to right now, if you, if you tomorrow just weren't a fucking twat, for one fucking day, you'd feel better. And I'm not trying to attack the audience, but I'm just saying, it's like, that's my message. Because it's all it takes. It's We don't all need to get together and agree to be a certain way. No, you all just be a certain way. Then we get together as a group and shit happens. You got the shit backwards. You need to arrive at the conclusion, not have the arrogance to think that you could solve it theoretically first. You have to you have to really live it. It's it's not some fucking story out there. It only is if you make it. So, you know, shift it from like out there back onto you. Why? Cuz that's where it's always needed to be on you. So, you know, that's not negative, that's not yeah. positive. That's just is. That's what I strive for. I don't want to be right. I don't want to be wrong. I want to find out what is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What just is. I have a Louis C.K. kind of... And then you remove the depression tactics that, that go along if with existential myself, thinking. Right. I get it. But if, but if I look at myself and I really am honest with who I am, how I function, how I think, how I operate... And I just do a general kind of toss across humanity with that general theme. Just my own little mm -hmm. theme. And expect positive results. The sad thing is, I, I don't necessarily believe there'd be a lot of positivity. Maybe, I think there are millions of people that think maybe, like me. Maybe, yeah. that, maybe that really There are literally millions of people myself, that think the way we do. I think if the That's world... That's the I, illusion, too. I, we I, we I, feel disconnected, but there are, really are millions of 
of people that are talking and thinking like me and you. We're just not all in the same area. What I'm saying is I don't necessarily even believe in myself enough to think that I, uh, uh, that I, I know what to fucking do. I, I really. It doesn't like, matter if it's right or wrong. Just I'm make d- it I'm positive. I'm playing along. I can admit to that. Yeah, I'm but don't. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. You're yeah. harping on getting it right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. Just make it positive. Right. Then it probably work itself out, and then if it doesn't, it wasn't meant to. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like we're part of an evolutionary organic expression. It's either gonna fizzle out or fucking explode into more complexity. So. Right. Right. You really like it really start taking into it, like when you start seeing the fractal nature stuff and how Terrence McKenna would talk and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah. Take that stuff into account for sure. All that stuff you love, really apply it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you'll see it for that. And then you're 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 removing. Once you become self aware that you can be existentially like woeful, like you know that's a possibility. To keep continuously doing it would be self indulgent. Well, and that's not a bad thing because sometimes you keep you need to do it to change frame of reference yeah. to get an answer but don't stay there don't you know what I mean yeah. it's just to stop in just like every other thought or mood frequency you'll ever have it's just temporary there for a minute and then you're on to the next fucking thing because yeah. we have fucking ADD as a consciousness species like we're here 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 like when you really just don't tether yourself you're all over the place right like think about it you're just there on a Sunday afternoon nothing's wrong with you and you're just sitting there kind of like thinking because there's nothing to do yeah. it's fucking like it, none of it has any tangible I mean yeah tangible yeah, somebody right. making words yeah. up now but it has no tangible connection to each other it's all just like fragmented madness Yeah. and it's because you're just like in flux of incredible stimuli sit back and really appreciate what the fuck you're experiencing like right now it's like the fact that our eyeballs work the way they do and you know what I mean? You well, perceive and you have emotions and you have sensations. And yeah. And it's, it's fucking crazy, dude. It is. And it's... And it, so, and there's you know. a, It is. And it's complex. There's a, yeah. there's a complexity to it. But to go back to you calling your audience a bunch of twats, <laughs> uh, you know... Throw me under the bus. I think you really... Yeah, I did. Because it's supposed to be funny, right? I'm kidding. So, I know. That's what it is. I kidding. Know. You were... Uh, I'm fucking around. Anyway. Uh... Twats, it, that's the point. I think what you were really getting at there is when you see the magic work for yourself by not being a twat for just one day, try it. And by twat, just follow some basic simple principles. We've already gone over oh, yeah, another yeah. podcast. It's, it's not hard. If you're people. curious as to what the definition of not a twat is, just listen to a few podcasts back and you'll hear it out of us. <laughs> that's how to not be a twat. But anyway... What I'm saying is, you will find, I well, at least for myself, I find, you're right. Your reality will morph almost, and it, it, it's, it's yeah. not to talk meta magic or whatever, but it has you with, will like, our common see experience it lately. change for yeah. the more positive. Little weird things start working out. Yeah. Like, this heavy, dark cloud isn't always over you. Then when it feels like it is, you realize you're just being fucking paranoid. Yep. You know, people, it's all just mind fuck. Keep a healthy Life is a mind fuck. That's all it is. Sake. It's, and, if, and if you have an angry person living under your roof with you, do yourself a favor. Get them to learn fuck to out of there. <laughs> or learn to disarm. If you're in yes. love with somebody who's got anger issues, help them, and I hope the best. But what I'm getting at is if you are living in a household with a, a, a person who has shown a consistent trend of negativity, it's not healthy, man. You nope. got you, you got it. That shit can be contagious. It's infectious. It's no, it, infectious it, 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 whether you, what, it's you, no matter how much willpower or how intelligent you are or how self. aware of it, whatever, all that shit, it doesn't matter. It still affects you. It does. Even with all that, it will still affect you. So it, tolerating it on any sustained level is a bad idea. Yep. And then if that person can't understand when you say you're just too negative, it's fucking with me, I can't do this. I gotta worry about my success and my well-being, uh, well-being, my story, my narrative. Like I have a right to my life too. My life is not just given over to anyone. I mean, when you have a child, that's the point I think you're trying to make. I get yeah, that yeah. you give over, but I mean, even with your romantic partner, it still comes down. I believe you have a right to yours over. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when it really comes down to the wire. It's you. And as we've explained Always before, was, and everybody knows thing. it. Don't bad. beat yourself up over that. Having an ego, having a healthy ego is a good thing. Having a having a healthy belief that your actions and attitude are going to... Anything that results you. in you rationalizing, throwing away your life is should be a big red flag. Mm-hmm. No matter what, how important or like righteous the narrative is. 
you you really unless you have no other fucking options. Yeah. You should be like, okay, that's probably a setup. That's you. You're not making your own decisions at that point. Yeah. No. You're, you're under this illusion of free will. That's weird. And there are some people that like that. And again, to go on the yeah. whole individuality part, yeah. we're really gonna go down the belief of Ugh, everyone's allowed to have their own type of shit. reality. It is for some of us. It makes us a little bit sick in our mouth. Yeah. Um, I believe I like to believe I'm, I have a healthy relationship where uh, we allow each other our dues. To I manipulate my environment by I not manipulating couples, my environment. Oh my god! That see, makes any fucking sense. I see couples last for years, and I ask myself, why the fuck are you dragging this dead horse out? And yeah. It's just like you yeah, want to. Yeah. Story as old as time. Everybody knows a couple where you're like, while. why? Yeah, you root for your friends for a while, no, and I then stop eventually you're just like that all the time. You know, I do. I just, I and just then don't you just care. Involve yourself. I just don't care. I'm like, if you don't want to fucking do it, then get the fuck away from me. You just stay out of it. I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. fucking. You're not gonna drag me down. Why? Because yeah. you're gonna choose a perpetual state of, oh, woe is me, run the yeah. skids for the trillionth. You'll listen to a person out a few times, just like Joe Rogan says about health. You know, yeah. You'll listen to a guy talk about his health a couple of times and changing his way. Yeah. But if you see him in a year and nothing's they're, different, they're ear raping you're you. just a fucking. You're just yeah. mad, mad, okay, you're just beating you down with their fucking yeah. megalomaniac style. I'm gonna do this. Style, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna fucking horse this. shit that doesn't yeah. matter anyway. Do it. Don't talk about if it, it. If I don't consider that stuff person like important in my own personal life, why the fuck am I gonna give a fuck about yours? Let's be real. I mean, I give a fuck and try to help friends, but if you're not like a really good but close you friend, and if you're just an acquaintance, yeah. yeah, man, you're getting left out in the cold, bro. Sorry. Not to mention, I'm not like going you said, down with you. You, I think, I think you're a pretty tolerant person, Cody. And I think you're willing to deliver the message. I once, let the bullshit maybe roll twice. off me, man. Fuck I that I think stuff. you'll deliver the message well a couple of times, but I think if somebody's continuously coming to you as a friend with an issue. And you really tried to give them a straight point. They're just path. straight not listening to me. They're just straight. You better get away from me because I'm going to snap on yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to go look. You're not taking my advice. Why are you coming back expecting different results? No, no you're that's not why taking I, my I always say advice. stuff polite and sugar coated. So when I reserve the right and it gets to that point with a certain people, that I could just go brutally honest and go. If you really wanted to hear it, yeah. there it is. Now yeah. stop fucking with me about it yeah. and do something. You know what I mean? You don't even have to do it. I suggest just do something. Yeah. I just want to say that to people all the time. Just, just stop it. Yeah. I don't care. Why are you out here smoking a cigarette, bitching about it like it's a fucking teenage girl's mm -hmm. gossip novel? It's disgusting. It's, it's. I don't care. It's irrelevant. I don't. I'm not. I'm bored by it. You want the truth? I'm bored. I don't. I don't. I'm not like. Hatred towards it. I'm right. fucking. It, it is gross, but it's like, mm -hmm. I, it's gross because I'm so fucking. It's so tedious, and repetitive, and predictable, and it's everybody's got the same fucking problems generically yeah. somehow. I think that's yeah, that I'm should thinking. be a red flag. You plugged into a system that has conditioned you to fucking be stuck, and th yeah. that's what everybody is stuck. They hit the wall because they realize at a certain point, what the fuck's the point of my life? And they realize that they just mm -hmm. got out of high school, got the shit, either education mm -hmm. or went right into them working, mm -hmm. got what they needed, yeah. bought a place, did this. And you're like, now what? And then the other people that choose that, we're all, all of us are automatically out of control, drug, ruin our lives, people. There's nobody that just toes the line. You never hear that fucking story. That's horse shit. And everybody knows it. Well, I think, you know, as we talked about in the article you're in, in the paper right now, um, you know, co I think college does a lot for both of us in that regard because... I need to... Yeah, bet. there's bullshit sessions. Yes, do we stand outside of the school in the freezing cold and bitch about the weather? Yes. Do some of us do so more than others, like myself? Yeah. Yes. Um, but I dare say both of us go to that center down there to learn and be around those people because at least... You're going to find, out of the pie chart, there's going to be more of a percentage of, of actual intellectual conversation versus just, you know what, my uh, four fucking kids and this and that, my dad, 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 d
have popped out more kids than you should have, and your life is kind of fucked because maybe you it's because you're a cheap imitation of a human being. I don't know, but maybe I like to go to college because I don't like to be around those. Could kind you of try it any less as a human being? Are you talking to me directly? <laughs> no, <laughs> not you directly. <laughs> no, I'm no, trying. I'm just talking about. I'll make, a, I'll, make, I'll make a fucking documentary about Elmira someday, and you'll all see what yeah. I mean for real. It, it, I will show you the nasty, ugly, ugh, fucking side of this place. Yeah, it makes me wonder what people think listening to this stuff. Just from to other serve parts as the message of the world. Don't let know? this happen to you. It's like, oh, Elmira must really be bad. Listen to those cynical fucks. They are really, you know, New York. Yeah, oh, they think we're wild. we are what we have been called. We're kind of hard. <laughs> New York, Northeast, whatever you want to call it. We're it's kind of hard. Fucking overrated. Fuckers. Cause it's fucking overrated. I think if I lived a little more sunny California style, I might I think be, I'd be a little, a little fucking more happier back. too. Oh, yeah, I don't I think I'd be like, saying fuck off this much and fuck and fuck and the this and great. fuck that. And oh, man. This is bullshit. I, I think, think I'd I might be, be like, enjoying my life wow. a little fucking more if I was out there. Yeah, maybe I'd crack a few more jokes than I do yeah. now, you know, if I actually enjoyed my maybe environment. I'd spend a little more time outside. Maybe I'd go do yeah. things more. Exactly. Instead, I feel like a psychotic old man that's holed up in his office half the Trying to fight off the zombie hordes of this fucking town. Yeah. But I think this is a good place to end the people. We've been going for a while. And I need to refill my coffee. Me three. And it's been, you know, a weird Saturday nights. I think I said earlier, I was like, get fucked, get fucked up, stay away from the police. <coughs> Before Got I let it? Cody wrap up, uh, I just want to say thanks for listening to my bullshit because I feel like I went off on a few uh, downward spirals. No, I don't even there, go there. We're fine. No, I just want to say thanks. I don't want to go bad. I want to say thank you guys very much for listening to. Not only my voice, but my friend here, who is just fucking uh, doing this, and I, I, as I've said before, admire him. And uh, perpetuate insanity. Great fucking time. Fuck man. the system. Wave the freak flag. Happy to be a part of it. Break the mold. Do your thing. It doesn't. I was gonna say matter, but uh, you know it. Does it? Yeah. So no. yes and no. Yes and no. Yes what and does? no at the same time. It's in the individual. What matters to you? Boss? Everything is happening at the same time. It's fucking, it's messed up. Drop us a comment. My fucking monkey what brain can't figure you? it out. I've come to peace with that. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah. dog is yeah. barking. Hey, that's a sign. Have fun, fuckers. Go fuck yourselves. I love mm-hmm. you. When he you says know, go fuck yourselves, thing. he means it with love. Do it kindly. Don't be the fool.